In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at adding various kinds of audio to our project. So first, we're going to be looking at adding a couple of different sound effects to our project. So here in this clip that we added at the end of the last tutorial, we added in a little freeze frame. And when we go to where it's frozen, it might be kind of nice to have a little sound effect to make it sound like maybe a camera shutter, uh, you know, a click of a camera that it froze it there. So we're going to go ahead and go to the audio option. So over here in our media area where we were been going up here to get to files, right next to the word media there's the word audio. So we can go to audio and under audio there's soundtracks. So there are some built-in soundtracks here in uh, iMovie. So there's a variety of different soundtracks here. There is my music. So if you have any music that you yourself have uh, loaded onto your iPad, you would find it in your My Music. And then there's a section of sound effects. So I'm going to go, and go into sound effects. And in the list of sound effects, I can start scrolling down it, or I can go to the search and type in camera. And as soon as it finds it, you'll see camera shutter. I can go ahead and tap on camera shutter, and it will play it for me. But then I can also tap the little plus button, and it will add it into my project. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, keyboard out of the way. And now it has added it to the project. Now, it's kind of small, but what you can do is if you pinch to zoom in or out on your timeline, you can kind of zoom in and see where something is placed. And so now if I go ahead and go back and hit play, we should hear that camera click as it goes to that portion of the video. Now, in addition to adding in the uh, sound effect for that, we're also going to add in a sound effect for the uh, students cheering. So we're going to go ahead and go to the beginning of this, and we're going to go ahead and go to the plus again, and we're going to go to audio, and again to sound effects, and we're going to look for the cheering here. Kids cheering. So we want the kids cheering option. We're going to go ahead and select it and hit the plus on it. And you'll notice that iMovie actually allows you to have more than one audio clip here. So it's putting in multiple different audio clips here. Now with that kids cheering I can select the audio go down to where it says volume, and if I think it's too loud, I can actually reduce the volume on here. So you can change the volume on any particular clip as well. So I can go ahead and adjust and change that volume. Okay, And so once I have it the way I want, I can hit play, and it will play back, and we can see how that sounds. All right. In addition to that, we're going to go ahead and add in a voice recording. So to add in a voice recording, you're going to go to the clip that you want to add it in and kind of place your playhead where you want to add your audio. And you'll notice over here underneath our preview, there is a little microphone button. And that bu microphone button is what's going to allow us to do the voice recording or the voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and select that phone. It says ready to record and you can see the uh, lines going back and forth to show that it is ready to begin recording me. Uh, I will just tap on the word record when I'm ready to actually start recording. And then I can go ahead and put in my recorded announcement here for this clip. When I tap on the record button, it will actually give me a countdown. So it's going to jump to the previous clip and then it will count me in three, two, one. And then as soon as it hits one, I can actually begin recording my voice. So I'm going to go ahead and say what I have set aside here to say for this video clip and we'll record it. Two, one. In this clip, you can see the parts of a plant, the stem, the roots, and the leaves. And then I can play that back if I like it. I can hit accept and then hit play and I can hear it be played back. In this clip you can see the parts of a plant, the stem, the roots, and the leaves. Okay, so that's how we can go ahead and add in a voiceover or voice recording to our project as well.
Now the last form of video or uh, last form of audio we want to add to a project is it's going to be our music or our background uh, songs or background sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the uh, media option and I'm going to go back to files. And in the files area we have our song that we have here, Dr. Sparkle's Frantic Mandy. And we're going to go ahead and select that particular song to add into our project. And it's going to drop it down at the bottom. Now, you're going to notice that it extends beyond the length of our uh, video. It ends with the same point as the kids cheering because it automatically will kind of crop it to the length of what we're doing here. So I can go ahead and see that. I can hit the play button and, and see what it sounds like. So I can go back to the beginning here and hit play. And we can see that we've added that in. So we have that there. Again, just like with any other clip, if we think it's too loud, we can go ahead and select it and make sure we're on volume. And we can adjust the volume of the clip. So if we think it's too loud, we can reduce the volume of it here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to, say, 40%. And now we have our background music. So we added our background music to our clip as well. And so you can see you can have several different things of audio in the same project. Okay? All right, so our final tutorial is going to be some fine-tuning and how to save our project. Uh, there will be also one optional tutorial on using green screen, which you can choose to do or not, um, but that's going to be the last piece. So the next thing we're going to look at is some fine-tuning and how to save your project.